Welcome back guys. Today we are detailing a very dirty Chevy pickup truck, but with a little TLC and some elbow grease, we're going to get it back to new condition. If you guys are new, say what's up and hit that subscribe button. Now without wasting any more time, let's begin with some before shots. As you can tell, there's a lot of work to be done. So let's start off by emptying the truck and taking out any garbage that's too big for the shop vac. I normally have a bin for this, but I'm gonna bring it with me for this detail. So I'm putting anything that I know isn't trash, but I need to get out of the truck into a plastic bag. The more you empty the truck and the more garbage you get out by hand, the easier your job will be once you start shop backing. So I start high and go low, starting with the seats, vacuuming them first, and then go on to the carpets. It's hard to tell from the video, but these carpets were full of sand and I had to do multiple passes with the carpet brush and then go over again with the shot vac just to bring that sand back up to the surface. But after like three passes, it came out pretty good. If you guys have any better solutions for the never ending sand problem, please comment below and let me know, I'd really appreciate it. Now anytime there's a, a hole or a rip in the carpet, uh, I'm always really careful to work around it. You don't want to put too much pressure on it and make it worse. So just try your best to work around the area. So the whole center console area, including the front and the cup holders, it were filled with that sticky, hard grime. So I took out the steam cleaner and that made easy work of it. So as you could tell, the center console area is full of that grime on the cup holders, but also the cracks and crevices of the plastic pieces, they can get filled with that same stuff. 
So I recommend using a steam cleaner for that area. I've seen some detailers use an air compressor. I've never used one before, but uh, I'm sure that works too. Once the entire vehicle is vacuumed and any area that needs steam cleaning is done, I go over the door panels and door jams with all-purpose cleaner, use a detail brush if needed, and then wipe it down with microfiber. The detail brush helps get into those tight areas like in between buttons or locks and just loosens up the dirt and then wipe it down with the microfiber. Now on to shampooing the seats. I'm using a fabric cleaner diluted 20 to 1 in a chemical sprayer because it's a lot easier on your forearms than using a spray bottle. One of the best investments I ever made was buying the drill brush attachment. It cuts time and it's just way more effective. Then after drill brushing, I'm using my little green machine to extract. It's crazy to see just how much dirt is actually in the seats and the carpet. And a little later, I will show you how dirty it actually is. Those two little spots you see right there, the, the fabric is actually dyed. Or it looks like maybe some bleach got on it, I'm not 100% sure, but that's why I couldn't get it out. Now guys, take a look at just how much dirt actually got extracted from the seats and the carpet. So now I'm spraying down the steering wheel and the dash, any little buttons with all-purpose cleaner and then using a detail brush to go over any areas. Sorry about my tripod, it was a little drunk today, kind of slid and fell down. I didn't realize until I got back to the computer and looked at the footage but I still want to show you guys. Now onto the glass. I'm just using invisible glass and I use two different microfibers. The first one just to get most of it up and then I'm using a waffle weave microfiber to finish it off. Now onto my favorite part of the detail, using Chemical Guy's Silk and Shine. It's a UV protectant dressing and it's just one of those things that makes the vehicle look brand new again. And we are done. I think it came out really good. The client loved it took a little under five hours to finish. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and seeing me turn a filthy car into a clean car. If you guys learned anything or just thought it was satisfying to watch, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate any support you guys give me. 
On my next video, I will be detailing a Jeep Wrangler after it just went mudding. Wait till you guys see how much mud came off this thing.